what's up guys it's karma and today this is a long-awaited mlg columbus uh 25k open post v log video hopefully i got that right i, I don't know if that's the name of the tournament but anyways basically what i wanted to do i want to make this kind of short and sweet well i don't know if it's really sweet but we'll just go with it and uh so i'm going to start with the pot the negatives and i'm going to end with the positives and that's going to be MLG Columbus in a wrap. So, to start it off, I'll just make sure my hair doesn't get too crazy. Um, but anyways, the negatives of MLG Columbus 25K Open, the first AW event. Uh, the first negative, I'd say, just in general. So, this, this goes for the event. This goes for our team. Just, just in general. So, the first negative, uh, there was one station to warm up on for 16 teams. Why are we going backwards? Like, what is that? How does that happen? Number two, uh, the um, the whole tournament was played with no neutral host, like on main stage and for pros and shit. And it's stupid. It's stupid. We went backwards. We were playing ghosts on neutral host. We come over to this game and we're not playing neutral host. I'm telling you, when I'm hosting on land, I could feel a difference. If you don't say otherwise, then you're you're just like your ego is just like I don't know, I don't know where. But anyways, those are two negatives. Uh, third one. So we played MLG Columbus, and we placed eighth. Uh, we choked a lot. Um, we were inconsistent. When I say we, like all of us. Um, Stop being consistent. We, oh, dude. When I when I talk about this, all I think about is a TK game because statistically, going into the okay, so the last three hard points against TK, um, we're up 181 to 141, and somehow, somehow in that time, we go, we go from 181 to 141, so we're up going into Blue Hill. And from that till the end of the game, we scored seven points. Seven points in two and a half minutes. And literally the only thing I can remember is the second last hill being on the hill. I die off the hill and there's like 20 seconds where we didn't cap the hill. And uh, that that's probably still going to haunt me until uh, the end of this video. Because then hopefully I don't have to think about it anymore. But I'd say that was probably the biggest negative of our team slash whatever this event is the fact that we were inconsistent we were clutching but we were inconsistent and we were making it so we had to clutch way too much for instance we played uh i want to say it was uh prophecy on retreat ctf i think it went like we ended up winning like five four five three whatever it was it was tied like the whole game but like we had to win Proof like got like a four piece return when he's the only one on their side of the map. I think he did it again, and then I don't know what else happened. But anyways, it was like we were just like relying way too much on clutch plays, and we weren't consistent. And that's pretty much what happened. Um, I don't know how to fix that. But like I said, it's kind of shitty that there's only one practice station for 16 teams. Obviously, everyone wants to play, but yeah, shit happens. So. And positives, oh no, there's more negatives. Uh, we, we sucked ass at S&D. I think the only S&D we won was Terrace S&D versus Aware, and it was last map, and we knew we were going to win it, because we're good at that map. The other maps we play, we're all, we're straight ass at all them maps, and uh, yeah, our uplink game was, I don't know, kind of non-existent. I feel we forgot how to play uplink. It was kind of saddening to watch and play. Um. Also, we were on main stage once. I believe we were streamed once. So it kind of felt like we were playing scrims the whole event. Which, uh, I mean, I don't know if that was really a factor. But it was kind of... I just feel like we were never in like a tournament environment. It was really weird. Um, even the games we won, it was just like... Like aware. Aware was like screaming. First map, I think some dude dropped 50. Probably happy. It's like, you dropped 50 and we tied 180 to 180. Like what's going on? And then this, then we replay, and I think we, I think we whooped them. I don't know, but it's just like we were just like chilling, like, like what, what is this? It didn't even feel like a, it didn't even feel like a real match. And we ended up coming back. I think uh, 
when we were down in the series, and we ended up winning last map, like I said, but skipping that, uh, anything else that was bad, so I went over, we choked, we're inconsistent, our uplink was terrible, our S and D was terrible besides Terrace, but, uh, we only got Terrace once, so what can you do? Uh, next thing, positives. Um, we kept pretty good vibes the whole weekend. We had pretty good vibes until we were, like, we knew we were out. Um, going back, I just think of the TK match. It was, the TK match, like, on top of choking, at least for myself, personally, I felt like the TK match, dude, I felt like I was just shooting people and they just weren't dying, like, like, I wish, I wish the people behind me had, like, a camera, because it, it happened so much, I was just like, dude, like, what is going on? This doesn't even make sense. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, it was pretty good. We had positive vibes, like, most of the time, uh, even as we, after we lost to Justice, but, like I said, the Justice match, I left 2 a.m. West Coast on Friday, got to Columbus... I don't even know, somewhere on Friday, got to the event, played Justice, one warm-up station, couldn't really do anything, and then the match came around, and yeah, you guys saw it, um, but yeah, like, I don't know about any of their matches, we never on stream, didn't really feel like a tournament, I, th I think it was just crappy in general, um, FaZe ended up winning the event, they beat Optic, I don't know how that was possible, um, I thought there was no way Optic Gaming was going to lose to FaZe, like, lose two best of fives to FaZe. Um, <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I, I was shocked. I mean, it was a great match. I didn't get to see the last two. Um, Ego was being a little shit and didn't want to watch the uplink. He went, you know, just wouldn't download the MLG app on his phone. But, uh, I just reading the tweets, it was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So yeah, um, that was MLG Columbus in a nutshell for Optic Nation. So what I think we have to do is just get better on our search and destroy. Um, consistency, well, we can't really fix that. We're just going to have to show up to the next venue, MJ Orlando, and be consistent. I feel that some teams won't be as consistent as they were. It's just how the track record goes, but who knows. we got to put in a lot of work and hopefully we can make things happen. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be streaming next. I was going to today. I may still today, but don't quote me on that. So hopefully you enjoyed my little MLG Columbus talk about Optic Nation and the event and how it went. And hopefully you keep watching. Hopefully we can step it up. I'm not going to lie. Since the event, I felt like shit.